Today, I will be sharing the tips to deal in an emergency situation. We call this the ATE of emergency. A stands for airway, and in this case, you need to check the patient's airway to see if it's open or clear. And you can also check for some obstructions. You can check for blood, you can check for foreign bodies. And B stands for breathing. You need to assess the patient's breathing. In this case, you're checking the patient's oxygen sat, and you're also checking for respiratory distress. So you might wanna check if the patient has cyanosis in this case. C stands for circulation. And in circulation, in this case, you're assessing the patient's pulse, the patient's blood pressure, capillary fill, and the patient's temperature. And D stands for disability. In this case, we're actually assessing the patient's neurological status. And we're checking for the patient's Glasgow Comma Scale. And we're also checking the patient's pupil and also blood glucose level in this case. And finally, the last step is what we call exposure. So you might want to expose the patient to check for hidden injuries. Remember, you have to warm up the patient right after exposure to prevent hypotermia.